Hey, what's up guys? My name is Red Skipper and today I'm going to be bringing you a Dota 2 video. Sorry about being a little bit delayed on the one week thing, uh, but I thought I would wait and bring you guys our first team match uh, together as a team. Um, so uh, let me introduce you. This is our carry and captain. Uh, na his name is Koromo, uh, uh, previously known as Gaiden. Uh, one of our supports is I Avenge You, also known as Defeated. Uh, our other support is Lon Lon. Ranch, um, and our offlane here is Jass, a hook, and I am the middle here, um, playing as Dragonite, and yeah, so uh, let's go over what we have. We have a Phantom Lancer, who's are going to be our carry. We have a Shadow Shaman uh, as one of our supports, and we have the Keeper of the Light as another support, and Elder Titan in the offlane. Uh, we're going to be playing up against a Earthshaker, a Rubik, a Gyrocopter as well as a Kunkka and a Puck. Uh, so basically what their lanes are going to do, they're going to run an aggro tri-lane, they're going to run a Kunkka, a Rubik, and an Earthshaker bottom as well, and then uh, they're going to run a Puck middle and a Gyro solo safe lane. Um, so our lanes, lanes are basically uh, Phantom Lancer with Keeper of the Light and then Shadow Shaman bottom. So basically three on three on the bottom lane, one on one on the top lane, and one on one in the middle lane. Um, so yeah, basically let's go ahead and unpause this game and jump right into it. Um, so our team name is Full Press, we are playing against Renaissance Ashes. Uh, this is actually, I'm actually getting new because they, apparently they did a big update and they changed replay so I can zoom way far out and zoom not really as far in, but yeah. So, we. there's my dude, looks pretty cool. Um... Also about our banner. Our banner got a little messed up because we didn't exactly know how it works, but apparently uh, we needed to, like half the size of this um, instead of being at full size. Blah blah blah. But we fixed that later on. And now they got they're just putting up wards, and as well as we are also putting up wards, and we're looking for first blood begins. right now. And this is really crazy because I can actually see a lot more of what the hell is going on. This is pretty cool. I do believe I mess up my block. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do mess up my block. I let one creep through. That's not horrible. Um, some people do this, but you if you're going to do this, you want to let the range creep through. That way the lane pushes back towards you. Um, but it's alright, because Puck also missed up her block. But whatever. Uh, trying to deny. And just securing it with the Fire Breath. Fire Breath, big, big magic damage thing. Especially in the beginning, one of the best scaling abilities in the entire game. Um... Yeah, it's actually like really, really solid. But this puck is like pretty dang annoying. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Just securing more last hits with the fire breath and getting my bottle up to me. So down in the bottom lane, they are having. Um, oh, I guess they didn't. They started off with having uh, three top. I think they rotate down later on though, because I remember them. Or maybe they don't, I don't know. Maybe this cunt could just get shot on in the bottom lane. Because uh, right now he's just being forced out by Keeper of the Light and PL. It was actually a very deadly combination because uh, Keeper can keep Phantom Lancer filled with mana so he can spam this little Spirit Lance, which does quite a bit of damage, as well as creates an illusion that goes after them. And it's just not very fun for the for the uh, Kunkka down in the bot lane there. Uh, I tried to get that. Trying to get at least last hits secured, and Puck's doing a ton of harassing, uh, which is very, very annoying. Denied. And I'm not sure. Oh, our sentry was actually just in the wrong position. If it had been maybe a little bit like right over here or something, we could have caught that ward. Uh, but now there's a double damage in the bot lane, and I believe I do die here soon. Yes, I do, because that double damage is the death of me, unfortunately. And just a, I don't know, Puck is just do, being a little douche about this. And I probably just should have, I know I need to run faster. I should have been down there already because I have an empty bottle. But you really don't want to leave the lane when the lane, when it's pushed up onto your side. Because that's not just, that's just not very good. And smart move by me. Uh, run right into that orb. Take some extra damage. Wouldn't want it to be too unfair to Puck. So, 
Yeah. All right, so we're going to have a race to the rune here, but Puck's a little faster than me, and I know I'm not going to get it as well as... Oh, she does. Oh, yeah, she can. Jumped to her little orb. So kind of a dick thing. But at least that gives me a little bit of time to secure a couple last hits. And again, take some more harass. I got the courier coming to me with my treads, and I need to basically get my bottle back onto the courier and have it go back to base. Um, but yeah, now, she, now she's done the, uh, she's launched the DD rune, and I'm gonna die here because, uh, yeah, she's dealing actually quite a bit of damage with that DD rune. Very annoying, <sighs> unfortunately. And I'm kind of screwing. I need to drop my bottle off, because uh, if you have a f empty bottle, your, curry, your courier courier is at like I don't know what it is. It's like 20. It's like it moves at like 40% less speed or something, which is a little ridiculous. But yeah, fire breath, secure more last hits. That's what I want. That's what I need to do. Yeah, to be my base damage is a little low right now, so. It's a little harder to do it under tower, but uh, Puck just bottled up a haste rune. So now it's very scary because she also does have dream coil up, um, so a little bit scary for her to be able to jump around, uh, go around very quickly, and get off a easy gank uh, down in the bot lane here um, against. Our PL, Missing our nice PL, top. or against Shadow Shaman in the jungle here that's Missing pulling. Top. But we're si basically the plan is that we need to secure PL's farm so that he can basically destroy into the late game. So uh, right now, Lon Lon and Venge are doing very good at that. They're forcing this Kunkka out of lane, so he's really not getting. He's actually getting an okay amount of experience, but he has four last hits, which is very bad. Um, although I don't, I think our off they're doing very good in our offlane too. Yeah, uh, they're doing some bad stuff to our offlane right now. God, this thing is so weird. I can zoom so far out. I hope this is in game too. I haven't tried this out in game. Um, although if it, if I am allowed to zoom this far, it helps a lot. Uh, it'll, it'll help a lot more. And. I believe Puck, yeah, Puck went down to the lane there, and dodging on like a boss, and now I'm going to make my way down there, because, yeah, I actually got that one, and boom, return kill, uh, she can dodge that, and I believe, yep, Kunk is going to die here too, there you go, definitely worth that f to us. Um, getting two kills for that, as well as I get the rune, so now I have a full bottle again, so that's always good. As well as I got to my level six, so I get my dragon form. So, uh, we could actually go back, actually, we could have gone back down bottom and pushed this tower down, but, uh, I decided to go back to lane, get my treads. Um, not a bad timing for treads, not at all. And just get some more last hits, get some more gold up. But, Puck... I guess Puck is just chilling there. Okay, there's Puck. There we go. Come back to lane. Come on, run into the orb again, me. Oh wait, no, I don't do that. Good job. Way to way to go, me. So, uh, yeah, Gaiden is a little bit ahead of their carry right now. Actually, he's he's a, about a full level. Yeah, oh, he's half a level ahead of Gyro right now. Uh, but Gyro got his first item up. He got his Helm of the Dominator. That's actually not a bad... That's a pretty good timing for it. Uh, and Gaiden got his Ring of Basias as well as his uh, Treads. So he's he's going to start working towards some other shit. And I believe this Gyro... Yeah, this Gyro is actually out, way out CSing our PL. Um, but it doesn't matter. Gyro is very easy to last hit with. Like... He's like ridiculously easy to do this with. Oh yeah, 
And I die again in the middle lane. They had a three-man gank as well as used Dream Coil. I tried to juke around in these trees, uh, but it, this Dream Coil just lasts for too long. Um, it lasts for eight seconds. So basically all I could do is run around in a circle for eight seconds and not really do too much. So I ended up giving up another kill to... Uh, who got that kill? I think Radiant's he was Puck. No, uh, Rubik actually got it. So that's actually a little bit better than having a core get it. And I think they're going to pick up an invis rune. Yeah, Puck's going to go get that. So, not not good at all. But nice double pull from Ivenge, or defeated. Um, basically wasted an entire creep wave. And... Yeah, this Kunk is not doing super hot. He's only... He's five, he's five last hits. Probably just should... Oh, wait, no. They're going for this kill down bottom. Definitely not gonna get it, even though Puck is annoying as hell and is just chilling with an invis rune just out of tower sight, which ends like I think it ends like right here or so. Um, so their true sight basically ends like so she's just out of range or whatever. I think it's like there or something. We. So yeah, uh, I believe I'm yeah I'm down bottom here again. I'm just waiting for the Kunkka and need to go jungle. Our RPLs are gonna go jungle. I'm just gonna fire breath. Oh, there we go. Dang, we lost our keeper. Although, uh, this Earthshaker was very kind as to block the puck out. So, that's kind of nice. And we're gonna secure another kill like, on this. What's his face? On um, Earthshaker. Nice dodge by Puck. I have to admit, this Puck actually wasn't too bad. Um,. She has three times the amount of hours that I have right now. So, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, she's a little bit ahead in CS right now. And our captain paused. Uh, there's just like a bug for something. He couldn't see the courier. So, like, he couldn't. He, it kept saying. He said that there, said that there was no courier here. So, he had no idea um, what the heck was going on. Yeah. So we're just gonna wait, wait it out, wait it out. Okay, actually, I'm gonna fast forward, just cause waiting, and I don't really have anything to say about this. There he is, and Thank you. there we go, back into game. Uh, so yeah, we're going down bottom again. Attack. Probably we need to go middle right now because Puck is actually going to take this tower because she can clear the ways of that orb of hers very easily and get a quite a few last hits Radiance with it. I mean, it does almost 300 attack. damage with it, so that'll kill most things. Uh, that'll that'll do about half. That'll kill a melee creep to about halfway, and then get it a one right click for a range creep. Um, so yeah. Well, we're all chilling bottom. She's getting free farm down there. Uh, though, I do think we wanted to take this bottom tower. So. But again, our Elder Titan's not doing... He got to... He, actually, he's gotten levels, so that's good. That's all you really need to do in the off lane, just get, the, get, those, get them levels up. So, it's, again, it's a fairly boring early game. I mean, basically just forcing people... Forcing the off lane out of lane... Uh, the mid. So far, I've done my job, and I don't know why that was a wasted dream coil, though. Um, that really didn't do anything. There's no follow-up at all from her. Uh, I have no idea why there was a dream coil dropped on me. I guess I I don't know. Maybe she thought she was canceling TPs or something. I I I I, I don't know. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. But. Gyro just picked up his phase boot, so that is his second uh, early game item. This is actually a bit scary here. Uh, I mean, he's doing uh, he's dealing out quite a bit of damage right now, and they're gonna actually gonna take this top tower. Earth Splitter misses, but that's okay. Jass unfortunately is going to die. Maybe he lives. No, or he lives. And Earthshaker's actually gonna take the death Radiant's for this one. There you attack. go. 
Unfortunately, we did not get the la uh, our carry didn't get the last hit on it, so he did not get the confirmed kill for that. But don't dive towers. Radiant's Diving towers is tower bad. Is under and I came back. I ran up top, and I believe we're gonna try and push this tower down. Yeah. Yes, we are gonna try. But there are a lot of people here, so and they're gonna TP back down in here. So I guess, actually, let's see, let's, let's go ahead and check out the net worth. Net worth of everybody, I'm sitting in fourth right now, I'm quite a bit behind. Puck uh, is actually f pretty far ahead right now, and she, has, and she just took a tower, so she got a lot of gold for that. But our carries are even, and Puck, unfortunately, cannot carry the team at all. And this, this person needs to shut the heck up. Unfortunately, it's a little late to go back, and yeah. So I gotta go back into the lane and clear up these creeps, these creepy creeps. And I guess Puck got another invis rune, and she has her blink dagger up. So that's actually, a, nah, it's not a super fast blink dagger, but it's fairly good. And I think she gets a double kill here. Yes, no, yes, yeah, double kill. Unfortunately. <coughs> Alright, Carrie's got his Yasha, and it's gonna pay, unfortunately. Although, easy kill on Rubik. Boom. Dead. And we, unfortunately, yeah. Bl easy blink out for Puck. Can't secure a kill on her, which we really we, we do need to do, because she's quite a, quite a bit ahead of all of us right now. But... Uh, it doesn't really matter because later in the game we have a very superior push lineup, and as long as we stay away from team fights, uh, it'll be fine. And I'm not sure what this pause was. Okay, it's for lag. Uh, yeah. Waste of time going back to base though for Puck. I mean, no mana, so I guess that's good. But she does have a thousand gold. So yeah, she's quite a bit ahead of me. She's about three thousand ahead of me. So. Technically, I actually got crushed in my lane, um, even though we are even, well, not even in CS, but we, in about 10 minutes in, we were just around even, same amount of kills, but, and same amount of deaths, and then I got killed one more time, and she got a double kill, so yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, these guys are from Peru, so yeah, 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 I don't know why they do that, I don't know, apparently they think it's funny or something? I uh, I don't understand their culture at all. I think it's very weird. Uh... <sighs> okay, so I believe it's now time to take the mid tower. Our servant wards are up, and what are we doing here? Oh yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the hell this dude was doing. I actually didn't realize that he had backup coming. I thought he just like kind of randomly hopped in there. Not as just it was really inconspicuous. And I mean, like I don't even know. But I'm gonna tank this. I do have a region room. But Shadow Shaman's gonna take the last hit on the tower. Don't really care. That's always it's it's good. I'm not entirely sure how you play Elder Titans. I have no idea if this is the correct build or not. I have no idea if you max out Ecker Stomp or you max out Spirit or you max out... I believe you don't get Natural Order for a while. I'm not... Actually, I have no idea how you play it. So, yeah, I don't know. But, don't depot Dragon Form here and take this top tower. So, we are going to take two towers in response to losing one. Um, so, that's completely okay with us. Now, it's starting to turn a little bit I take the last hit so get a little bit more gold as well as they're gonna have a very nice combo here uh, we actually get two sleep two slept and uh, we get two people dream coiled as well as a call down into a ship and that really hurts a lot and I'm just gonna stay so that the other guys can get away not actually that really wasn't my plan it just kind of worked out that way 
Um, yeah. Basically kind of worked out that way. All right, so yeah, pet. Our carry gets away. That's good. We we want the carry to get away. Although their net worth are starting to get a little bit crazy because Puck is actually starting to basically kill everybody. She already has a Dagon as well as a Blink Dagger. I mean, it was just kind of like, yeah, I already have this, so I already have enough gold. Um, and then she's just gonna start talking shit, saying it was an easy mid. And eventually, though, I mean. I guess our lineup puck really falls off and they start getting like super ticked about us not wanting to fight a team fight lineup at all. I mean, you know, if you're going to talk crap, might as well just back it up instead of being a little bitch about it because it, yeah, great. You won your lane, but you fucking lost the entire battle. So sucks to be you. Uh huh. Whatever. I'm three and three and one. So I've been in, a little bit of team fights, 47 CS. I mean, that's not good at all by any means, but we've just kind of been running around trying not to die. And Puck has a level two Dagon, which is really, really scary at this point in the game. So she can really just completely nuke anybody down. Hit her with the Waning Rift, uh, illusory or illusory orb into Waning Rift, and yeah, and. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't be here puck and she almost dies here. Unfortunately, she has a freaking visibility rune So yeah, she gets away Weirdly shitty Very unfortunate if we had dust though Easy kill. I mean since she is just kind of chilling right here, and I'm not sure what she's doing uh, I guess we saw her Yeah, do we see her? Yeah, she's gonna die. Bye puck Fucking way too greedy. She thinks she's so far ahead that she can kill four people. I have no idea what she why she was doing this. She was that is way too freaking greedy. And I just start we just start to pit, talking shit back because you know if you're gonna do this, well, better win because otherwise it means nothing. But whatever. She is destroying in CS right now, even though we are all catching up really fast. And she just dropped a dominating streak. I mean, it wasn't to anybody, like, it wasn't to our carry or anything, so it didn't help a lot. Well, it did help a lot, because she's down and she can't get more any more CS or any farther ahead at all. But it would have been, it probably just would have been better to... Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get up a BKB here fairly soon, actually. And I believe I almost died here. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was... Oh, yeah, I checked. I was checking on what spell Rubik caught, even though instead of running away. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're not... I'm not going to die here. Yeah, I was checking about... He got the uh, Echo Stomp. Doesn't really help him too much unless he can get in there and do stuff. Fortunately, that Stomp is just not doing too much. And I believe all four of us are going to die. <coughs> Ow. Call downs hurt. Call downs hurt a lot. Ow. Trying to waste this Invisor to stay alive. I want to stay alive, bottle. Nope. Echo. Visured. And cleaned up. Um, that a little bit worth. I mean, not really worth it. Uh, but if we get this, definitely, actually, even if we get this tower, definitely not worth it at all. And we don't get this tower, do we? No, we don't. I mean, this Gyro is pretty freaking farmed. He's got his BKB already done. He's got a Helm of the Dominator. And yeah, he's he's pretty flippin' farmed. And I actually almost had my BKB there. And then I died, so I don't have it anywhere near. But basically, they're dominating with these two guys. I mean, Puck and Gyro are leading the pack in front of everybody else. Even though... I mean, we're the next four, so that's that's good for us. Whatever. Um, sorry, looking at my phone. <laughs> Not paying attention. Yeah. Unfortunately, our offlanes, his uh, stomps weren't on 
he only got a couple of them. I mean, it's hard to land these them, so it's not like uh, super difficult to do. But we we ran up, tried to get these wards down onto the tower and to do some damage. Unfortunately, their their uh, his flat cannon is actually going to do a little bit. And as I, this stop actually lands, it does a little bit of damage. We got we got some health down on that damage. We got some health um, off the tower, about halfway down. So a little bit. We wasted it an ulti, but that's fine by us. We don't have to fight. We took down towers, and the point of us is to not fight. We want to avoid them at all costs because right now, if we get in there, it's going to end up like the top lane where you get you get the. Um, Dream Coil into Call Down into Kunkka Ship and it's just terror or into an Echo Slam and it's just gonna go really shitty in that case. Uh, unfortunately, they're gonna force a fight here. Uh, they are really uncoordinated and I'm just chilling in the bot. I'm chilling over here, um, but nobody's nobody's going in. Nobody's fighting. We're not doing anything and I don't believe I have my BKB with me. No, I do not have my BKB, but. We're gonna push that illuminate out there, try and get some damage in before the fight starts. But now we're all here, so we can go ahead and initiate into him with a stomp. We only get one. We only hit one. We hit the Rubik. That's okay. But there we go. We have a call down coming in. I'm chilling in the back. Failed ship. That doesn't hurt anybody. Oh, hey, no. We lose Shadow Shaman there. He gets hit by the boat. Um, but yeah. It doesn't matter. We got Puck here. Nice stomp again. And there you go, double kill, but with the, actually, she, the, uh, Lalan actually could have gotten an ultra kill if I didn't help against this person. There you go. She actually got a triple kill. If I didn't get the assist with the one of those kills, she would have had an ultra kill, which would have been pretty cool for, as a, uh, as a, uh, what's it called, as a support. That doesn't really happen a lot. And Lon Lon is doing something with the courier, and I say no. I need my BKB. Now I got my BKB. Uh, we we kind of joke around, like, "Are you raging?" And she's like, "Oh, mm -hmm. Mrs. Easy, whatever." Okay. Well, now we're back. Back to farming. Uh, now I'm gonna go for a satanic here. Uh, just so I can keep up in these team fights, because this makes me uh, quite a bit more tanky. It gives me 20. It gives, well, since I'm a strength hero, it'll give me 45 damage as well as 25. So 25 strength is like 500 health, and uh, some bonus. It gives me five more bonus armor as well as a ton of life steal. So in the fight, and when I pop the like unholy rage or whatever, um, that's 100 and whatever I deal as damage is 125 percent damage. Uh, that's what I steal in life, as a life person. So that's pretty crazy. So basically when I pop that in a battle, I can get off, if I get off uh, two to three hits, I'll heal pretty far back up. Pretty high. Uh, even right now, I'd just be doing, I'd be healing up like, I'd be healing uh, probably like 400 health, 500 health right now, just by popping it in a fight. And 500 health, that's, that's a lot more health, so yeah a lot of fun this was, a, this was a super interesting game I mean we're we almost lost here I mean it gets a little crazy our split pusher is doing what he needs to be doing he's split pushing with all uh, with the uh, the pat the phantom lancer all illusions and actually I didn't even realize that he had his diffusal up but he does that's kind of cool and phantom lancer has the most ridiculous agility gain out of anybody here so it's yeah it's quite ridiculous Okay, so, yep, there's our PL. He's in the jungle. He's doing lots. He's having lots of fun. I'm not sure where I am. Where am I? I need to figure out where I am. Am I dead? No, I'm in the mid lane. I'm with my little other buddies. Um, gonna try and sneak up on this middle here tower and place down wards. These serpent wards. Uh, there we go. Run. Yeah, there we go. Focus on the tower. Bring them down. Bring it down. Unfortunately, not going to do a ton. 
basically just feeding the servant wards to the skyrocopter. Very sad. Although we did catch up, our PL did catch up on net worth. Um, unfortunately, everybody else is still like fairly trailing, fairly far behind. But we're looking to take. Oh wow, we actually took. We actually already took that tier two tower. And this tier one is over. I'd say it's about a third health, and that's still just fine. Just fine and dandy. Yeah, I'm not sure what our plan was to do here. I believe we're doing something, something or another. Yeah, we're doing something. Yeah, we're doing something. Doing real good. Doing a real good something or another over there. I believe our plan is. Uh, I think our dude dies. Yes, yes he does. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, he actually doesn't die. How about that? Go doppel walk. Way to go. Have our carry escape. I don't even remember how. He's actually like really freaking. He's a brick wall right now. Yeah, peels ridiculously hard to kill. Unfortunately. Although same as so was Dragonite. I mean, my magic resistance is an amazing, um, which is why I built the BKB. And I need my teammates are yelling at me like, "Get your ass over here!" Rawr, rawr, rawr. So fine. We're a bit, we're gonna go ahead and smoke into the Roshan pit. It's quite a, it's a little scary activity. So while PL is distracting them, we're going to try and take Roshan, and it is a giant chicken right now. Give it the stun, and I don't know if they saw that. I think they actually did see that, and that's really bad. Um, I don't want to blame it on Lon Lon, but I think her Illuminate actually might have given us away in this pit, and then so Earthshaker decides he's going to come and check it out. Uh, yeah. And now we're just kind of waiting. Kind of waiting around. Puck comes in. Or a guy... Yeah. Everybody's here. Basically, there's four of us in this pit. And we all get... We get a four Mandarin coil. And it's just really bad. Yeah. He gets a triple kill. And I waste a BKB charge. And they get a free Roshan, and I'm, we're trying we're, we're, with the we're with the servant wards. We're trying to get the last hit, unfortunately. So they actually get the ages and the Roshan and four kills out of that, which, yeah, really terrible for us. Very bad. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But we're gonna take this top tower, maybe, maybe not. Yes, so maybe. Oh wait, no, he's run. Yeah, you're dead. Radiance middle tower is under attack. We're look. Yeah, it's it's now looking like this might not be so good. Dyer's top tower is under attack. You know, you always got to look on the bright side. I mean, we're we're winning in towers. Basically, all their outer towers are down, um, except for their mid tower. That's still standing, and but that's fairly low. That should take like we just push that as a four-man team, as a four-man squad, or uh, not a four-man, but if we just push that all together, we'd probably all die. Actually, yeah, that's probably why we didn't push it. Anyways. Go, you can do it. No, you probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't do this. Nice, good sleep. Um, a little bit of a wasted thing. Yeah, throw down the wards. Shadow Shaman, unfortunately, is gonna die. Needs to f need to focus these wards. Really didn't do too much though, unfortunately. Didn't do enough. Just didn't do enough. So it's just going pretty terrible. We're just feeding ward or feeding kills right now, and we just need to focus. Need to focus up. 
Yeah, gonna focus. Uh, and there's another kill for them. Kunk is actually getting kills right now, and it's getting a little crappy. I mean, they're leading by nearly 10 kills. They actually stole the Serpent Wards. Really terrible. Really shitty for us. But we're going to retreat back. And I'm not sure where our, our captain is in the top, top tower. Yeah, yeah I think they're going to be forced to back off here, and they're all going to TP back. To the yeah to this tower here, even though he still did a quite a bit of damage, was I mean, he just doing illusions? I mean, almost 600 damage to that tower, which is yeah pretty freaking donkulous. Hmm. Yeah, I mean I don't even know. I think I'm really. I think we're also like pretty dang behind in levels too. Yeah, Huck's really, really far ahead in levels. But she gonna die. She did. So we burned an Aegis, which was only two. It's two minutes from expiring. Not really worth it by any means. Yeah. But we burned an Aegis, so I guess kind of worth it. Not really though. I mean, it was close to being expired. Gyro got his butterfly. Really shitty. I mean, he's farming ridiculous. He's pretty. He's farming pretty damn well. Um, and as well as he's got six kills right now. So, yeah, his net worth is about a thousand above our guy. Uh, but net worth. I mean, it's it, it help. It it shows like who's like ahead in the game, like who has the most gold, but. Stomp, stomp the yard, stomp the yard. I don't think this this dude can't die, can he? I don't believe he can die. But I need to farm up. I was thinking about going Shadow Blade here. That way I could just surprise initiate with my Dragon Tail. But yeah, I mean Shadow Shaman. We were kind of pinging all over the place, like, dude, you're gonna get a, f you're gonna get five man gang. But good, good, good job, keeper. Way to go, Lon Lon. Um, just gonna go ahead, give a nice little recall there, so everybody's safe, and they're gonna go scouting for him, waste some time over there. Uh, on four, no, does he doesn't die? No. Die. We killed him. We killed Puck. We did it. We wasted a dragon form though. I don't know why I go into dragon form into team fights. I mean, it kind of helps a little bit. But I mean, I don't know. Really? Does it help? It doesn't do any more damage. It just gives me kind of some more movement speed. And I mean, that's really about it. But that, yeah. I'm not sure what else that does. Uh. So we have a farming earth shaker there. Run, uh, run, Elder Titan, run. Whatever. He gets away, and that's good. This is what we needed. And I believe we're about. You're gonna witness an, an one of the first, or I guess it'll be the third team fight of this match. Up in the middle lane. I believe we're in the mid. I believe it's the mid lane. I believe they're gonna group up and push mid, and uh, Shadow Shaman is gonna die here. He gets recalled. Does a good job, but yeah, he did. He did. That's okay though. That's really okay. And we're like, oh crap, we gotta go defend mid because they're gonna push this down very fast. Whatever. Punk gets greedy again, thinks he can kill our Phantom Lancer, who actually is like way more farmed than she is. Uh, apparently they canceled the TP back for some reason. They, yeah, I'm not sure why they canceled that TP back. And Dyer's bottom tower is gonna die because, yeah. And these illusions are ridiculously strong now, especially with Heart of Tarask. Like, they have so much health. 
And Kunkka actually almost, like, Kunkka's about to die to these illusions. And he has absolutely no more mana. And we're trying to get this Gyro. Dodges the stomp. And we're just going to give up on that. We're going to give up on our lost dream. It was only just a dream. Unfortunately. He gets away. Yeah, Roshan is just about up. Is he? No, he's... He is almost up? Yeah. Yeah, he's almost up. We're going to have a nice second attempt at Roshing. Which goes equally as well as the other time that we tried to Rosh. A.K.A. really horribly. Waste the good old fortification. Get to sleep on the Earthshaker. Still not going to do it. Actually, that actually does quite a bit of damage. I think Shadow Shaman takes this. No, no, he doesn't. But, good Illuminate. Got two of them. We hurt him a little bit. I'm not even sure how much, uh, no, how much does Illuminate do? Um. I'm not entirely sure. How much Illuminate does? I know it does a lot. But it just keeps waves back. And that's always good. Keeping waves back. Keeping waves back. These are good. Then they. Oh, wow. They actually almost caught Shadow Shaman out there. I think he gets. Does he get recalled? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. Shekels. Dr. Shekel and Mr. Hyde. Oh, we got a hood on the Elder Titan. So we got a hood, drums, and a mech up. That's this is good. As well as that, I've, 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 I've almost caught back up to Puck, because Puck's just kind of been being stupid, because he's like, I had such a good start. I can do everything on this map. I'm Puck. And no, no, you don't. No, you can't. You just can't, sweetheart. You can't kill us all. Dyer's middle tower is Dee -dee -dee -dee. Under Come on, we're gonna take this tower finally. Take it. There you go. Tower has finally, we took it. Good sleep. He got oh, two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Maybe. I'm not even sure. Actually, that all has been a pretty long cooldown. And he's going to be going for a pipe of insight. And I actually almost die here. I actually could die here. Very possible. But it's okay. We didn't die. Not dying is a good thing. I don't even think anybody on their team has a mech. Oh, everybody has a mech. Okay, he's got a mech and a blink. So he's actually doing fairly well. Earthshaker, not doing so hot in the item department, but he doesn't really need a ton of items. Apparently he thinks that's good for the farm, I guess? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, look at this. He's got so many items. He's, I think he's actually saving up for boots of travel now. And yeah, now this Earthshaker's starting to get a little bit angry. He's like, what time are you guys going to fight? Can I get your schedule? He's like, stupid PL. Stupid. Why don't you fight us? Why you no fight us? You're only pushing. Why you not fight our team fight lineup with your push lineup? This is retarded. Rah, 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 rah. Very angry. That's my interpretation of, uh, I guess Peruvians would be speaking Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. They're gonna push mid. So it's time for everybody to teleport back. Big. Very fast. Run. Teleport. Run back. Yep, there I go. So we got four TPs back. And it's just like, okay. This is actually a really cool fight. I actually re really enjoyed being part of this fight. 
We're actually going to fight 3v5 here. Um, which is kind of crappy. But he gets an awesome... This thing is awesome. That was an amazing Earth Splitter. Uh, whatever that Earth Splitter is. Yeah, he ends up dying though, but I popped my BKB. So basically he's not silencing me. Just in time to actually miss that, um, that Dagon. Uh, and yeah. We're gonna get a double kill out of that. We take down three of them. Puck's almost dead here, not two. And he, with no mana. And he really can't sell anything except for his bottle to buy a TP scroll. Unfortunately. That's okay. We took down, um, two of their cores. And almost killed the, th the third of theirs. That's actually really good for trying to fight 3v5. Yep, they're calling us noobs now because we just won their... They tried to fight us and lost, and they're very angry. Because all, we, all we're doing is push. So, yeah, there's my answer to that. I'm not Canadian, by the way. So, I've been told that I sound Canadian. I don't think I do, though. For some reason, I think I got told out once, and I'm very—I was very confused. Uh, Jesus Christ! You got him. They wasted dust. You got the PL. You got the PL. <laughs> and now he's back up top. Time to create the army again—the army of the undead. Uh, I'm not sure why he buys it in MKB. I mean, I guess for the extra damage or something. Probably some better items that he could have gotten other than an MKB because um, nobody has a butterfly. Uh, actually, PL almost has a butterfly. Which is kind of crazy. Pretty crazy. As well as a ton of freaking gold. Uh, I actually got my Satanic, so I'm happy about that. And now I'm going to go for an MKB to counter... With for a ton of for lots of damage as well as that'll make gyrocopters, uh, butterfly kind of useless. Is it, or the evasion that he gets from that useless? <clears throat> Bottle my illusion root, and now comes the fateful second attempt at Roshan. And go, Phantom Lancer! You can do it. And yeah, he's already got an army. I think he can create like nine of them or something. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of them. He's got five right now. So yeah, that's pretty good. Go illusion, go illusion. You can do it. Nope, you're gonna die. That's okay. These illusion, these illusions are ridiculously strong. We have a heart of Tarask, and I believe he's getting a butterfly next. So they're gonna be even. They're gonna get the the uh, passive evasion from that. So that's always good. Uh, I'm pretty underfarmed right now. I mean, I only have I have like basically what I need. I mean, I have a satanic. I have a black king bar. Um, basically, that's everything that I need to to fight against them. And I'm super tanky because I when um especially when this guy's around me. Uh, what's his face? Uh, when he pops his mech, uh, I get an extra, um, five armor, I think, or four, yeah, I think it's five armor when he pops his mech. Yeah. Or I guess blown his two armor in the area. Of effect. And our keeper has already got us. he's got a scepter and boots to travel. Uh, that's basically all keeper needs, and... Yeah, that's good. Das ist gut. Yeah. So yeah, Keeper's got everything that he needs right now. We're going to try for another Faithful Roshan. I'm going to basically spread out my illusions. Trying to make sure that nobody jumps us. And that's not exactly um, going to happen. Uh, they help a little bit. They waste a couple things on it. And we're actually taking down them down quite fast. I mean, the second Roshan. Um, we're taking them. We've almost killed him, and we do see this puck. And uh, they're wasting a ton of crap on me for some reason. And we're like, oh Jesus, we actually really just need to kill this thing because 
They literally just need to take like one more hit on him. And we all definitely did not need to go in on that. They actually tried to steal it from us. And I'm gonna die. I get it. I was stupid. I thought I died. Yeah, I picked it up. And my, my BKB is down. So I think if it was uh, if it was up, I actually would have killed at least maybe one of them, maybe two. But it's down, so I'm gonna take a ton of magic damage. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna die. Unfortunately, with a waste of BKB charge, five man wiped. Uh, I'm down for a minute, but basically everybody's gonna be up as soon as once they push down this lane. They're not. It's gonna be yeah, about 20 seconds. PL is gonna be up in 10, so that's good. So I'll be up here fairly soon. We did get Roche technically, so I guess that's good. And Puck's being a little greedy here. She's almost dead. Although she does have a gem at true sight. Uh, fortified. Now I got a Shadow Shaman back, and then Keeper will be up shortly too. Uh, yeah, we're like, oh no. There's PL. Go, PL. Go, you can do it. You're so good. You're super cool. Failure of a boat. Just keep fighting. You can do this. Even though you're almost, you're so close to dying. You're so close. He's actually like, oh, actually he almost got away there. Although, he is going to buy back. He, he's just going to say, screw it, I'm buying back. Since he didn't waste it before, he's just going to go bottom. And try and take that tower and racks. And I'm not sure if they're going to back. Yeah, they're going to back. Because we, they lost two of their characters. And really, we only lost one and forced a buyback, but that's okay. He wasted buyback, but now he's going to go bottom, and really, there's nothing they can do about it. Because this, right now, PL could probably take on their, about, about yeah, about three of their guys. Especially those three guys that are up. I mean, Puck and Gyro. Actually, really, that's about, like, Puck and Gyro are kind of scary. Dyer's bottom tower is under but that's about it. Dyer's bottom tower has He's just gonna get recalled. There you go. Dyer's bottom I'm about to get yelled at again here, cause I'm just chill. I'm gonna sit in the back, and I don't think this is particularly a good idea to go run up and place wards. So I'm a little concerned that this is gonna go really badly, especially since all five of them are up and we're trying to take a high ground position. And we're gonna do a little bit of damage to the tower, but I mean. Really, only as soon as he turns on flat cannon, I mean they're basically all gone. Did a little bit of damage to the tower, but not really worth the wards, I don't think. I mean, we 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 wasted the wards. Oh well. Peels up top, space created, I guess. And I believe Gyro, yeah, he's almost got his um. What's this? What's it called? The um, divine rapier, which is really ridiculous. I mean, he's almost six slotted here. He basically is. Uh, once he gets this divine rapier, then all he'll need is boots to travel, and then he'll finish off with the satanic uh, for the, for his last item. And RPL is also basically almost six slotted too. And I'm trying to get up my MKB still. 49 minutes in, but I have buyback ready, so that's good for me. I don't really want to waste that, because buyback is much more important than getting an item. Apparently. That's what I've been told. I don't know if that's true or not. Their Kunk is ridiculous at Underfarm, though. Like, he has nothing. He has a Shadow Blade and, and a BKB. I mean, it'd be nice, it would probably be better if he had a Daedalus. Yeah, and I believe Earth, this El Elder Titan ability, he d does go through BKB. So, yeah, that's like the big ability he has to be worried about. I guess Illuminate. I guess all of you, they have to be kind of worried about Keeper and Shadow Shaman. But other than that, like I don't do a ton of magic damage. I have. My fire breath and stun, so I guess, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I guess BKB is pretty good against us. BKB will help a little bit. And I do want to go get my, um, my Demon's Edge right now. But I can't. And our guy actually, uh, 
Shadow Shaman almost has his uh, boots of travel. So that'll be good. Bottle my haste rune. Not sure where they are. PL is almost dead. He almost died. He was very close. I don't think they had dust though. Oh, they actually did have dust. They just decided not to waste it. Well, that's fun. And is actually Rubik out leveling me? He's actually really close. That's kind of sad. That's actually very sad indeed. Wow. Apparently I'm still worth more than him. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure. They're just keep wasting crap. Like, big mistake that they're making. I mean, they're not committing anywhere. Like, they're just kind of just staying back and defending. Like, if they push mid and just force that fight, like they did middle again, I think they're a little concerned that it'll go like it did last time, and it goes terribly for them. But, I mean, really, like, it's not doing. Like, they're, we're just doing so much damage. Like, these illusions, they're just doing way too much damage from every, from everywhere and everything. They're, they're just so strong that they can't do. <sighs> God, I don't know why I'm yawning. This isn't a boring game. It's actually like really fun. I was like very concerned. It was actually, actually, no, I wasn't. Actually, yes, I was concerned. I don't. I keep babbling. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. My God, PL, you have so much armor. I think he actually gets like he, he naturally gets like. 14 or 15 armor from just his his agility gain because he has an agility gain of 4.2, which is absolutely insane. So, I mean, that's yeah, that's in, insane how much that is, and so that uh, that basically stacks onto. Uh, his attribute as well as his eagle song helps and all that fun stuff. I got caught in the dream coil. I'm just kind of going to say screw it because it's not really worth it to me. Um, but yeah. There we go. Nice, Nicely done. He's going to get that earth splitter slow and almost killed by the illuminate. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just waiting in the back here. I'm getting get ready to go in here. Um, now this is kind of the game changer fight here for them. Um, I guess his BKB was down. Yeah, his BKB is down. And he almost dies to me. Like, right, right there. I mean, Puck's almost dead. They do kill me, but, I mean, he has 30 health left. And now he's like, oh, crap. We just lost our Divine Rapier. And um, look at that. Triple kill. And um, <clears throat> our Elder Titan picked up the Rapier. And we're, they're just like, oh, oh, crap. We just lost a Divine Rapier. That's really bad. Like, really bad for us. I died, but... Heck, if I helped get us a Divine Rapier and kill their Gyro and get secure four kills or three kills or whatever it was on them, that's definitely worth it to me. I mean, because we only lost one or two guys, and we forced out two buybacks. So, that's good. This is good. Come on, you can kill it. Okay, whatever. They're not gonna kill it. I Boop. With light. Boop. 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 So, uh, now it's getting a little bit laggy for some reason. I mean, the game's basically almost over. I mean, they lost their divine rapier. That's not gonna do a lot. Um, my thing is slowing because this video is taking so long. That's a non-compressed video. So I think this video right now is like something like almost 300 gigabytes, and so that takes up a lot of space, and taking up space apparently makes it lag or something. I don't know why, but I'm just going to finish it off, so you're going to have to deal with the lag. Uh, I can fast forward a little bit, because basically there's almost, it's almost done, I think. There's, yeah, there's only a couple minutes left, and basically we're just going to take one more fight here, and then we'll, it'll be done. It will be over shortly. As long as we don't lose the Divine Rapier, we're good. It'll be solid. I mean, we have three boots of travel, so basically we can push all three lanes at once. And PL is just way too strong for anything that they have. 
The illusion secure, a kill on the puck. Way to go. Way to go, puck. Yes. Uh, I did pick up my Demon's Edge finally. So, I'm not doing a ton of damage still, but worth it to me. Good enough to be able to do, do everything and basically end the game here. Because now they have. One lane, they have one lane of racks down, so that's a really nice. That's going to push in no matter what. And now we just need to get one. I'm not sure why he keeps going bottom. I think he wants that melee racks. Yeah, he wants that melee racks. And we're just going to push top. So they're going to have to choose on whether to kill four of us or one of him. And, either, and if they commit to four of us, then he's basically just going to destroy their entire base. So it's really a pickle for them. Although if they do kill all four of us, they get their Divine Rapier back, and that's really what we don't want, and this is really ridiculously lagging. It's just taking up way too much space. Um, unfortunately, I think I might have to end it, because it's ridiculously early. Oh, he actually stole that, wow. Yeah, okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Um, Fraps is just destroying apparently my hard drive, and yeah, I'll just tell you guys what happens. Uh, I'll sum it up here. I'll pause it to get more frames. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, what's gonna happen is basically we have Phantom Lancer here. He's there, and he's gonna push up around here. Uh, he's gonna kill. He's gonna get an ultra kill on them. And uh, he's going to get up there. He's going to get a couple kills. He's going to push down this tower, push down these racks. They're going to buy back. He's going to get an ultra kill. Then we push down the middle lane. And then we end it from there. Uh, they don't get their Divine Rapier back ever. And yeah, at this point, at that point, yep, it's going to be GG. Okay, now I can show you. So yeah, here he is. Because now it's apparently at 60 frames. Blah, blah, blah. These guys are almost dead from the Servant Wards. Um, shame. And now our, our PL is six slotted, as well as has 6,800 gold. A little bit ridiculous. Um, I don't know if our Shaker bought back or if he just came back up. But they did have, they had way more kills than us. But we just were, we just pushed harder, and they made some pretty big mistakes, and that kind of cost them the game. Um, I w I'll show you guys the stats uh, when I exit this, so you'll be able to see what the stats were. Um, but yeah, so good game to RA and I'll be back with another team game hopefully it doesn't destroy my hard drives or anything like that um, so yeah um, I'll go, go ahead and show you guys the stats so there it is there's your the stats of the game so uh, PL completely destroying with CS and 14 kills uh, definitely did his job as a carry position 713 GPM, really ridiculous. I had second, well, sorry, excuse me, second most with 360 GPM, and then it just kind of goes down from there. Their Gyro, only 549 GPM. Um, their Rubik at 232, and their second place uh, was their Puck at 436. So even though he did win his lane, he actually didn't get too far ahead, and he kind of just leveled out at the end because, I mean, Puck helps, but. Uh, if you can't figure out which illusion to Dagon and Sheep, it's a little bit of a bitch. Yeah. So, uh, GG. And if you guys liked the video, sorry I couldn't end it because um, of the lag in the video. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.